Uh, we don't know. I, I can say all day long that on paper this should happen or shouldn't happen. But you've got two games here that are really, you know, you talk about the Browns and you don't want to really say winnable games because there's really no such animal. But these are winnable games. you got Cincinnati with Joe Burrow, who's going to be terrific, but not, not yet. And you've got the, uh, the Washington football team, or whatever they're calling themselves this week. And you should win. It should be 2-1 two and, two and one at that point. And you're right back in the hunt. Absolutely. And, you know, I think we've talked about how we don't know how this team would react, or this organization, we should say, to, to getting off to great starts or even good starts in this league. Because then things start to build. You know, confidence builds. Nobody's second-guessing each other. Guys that might not be happy with their role aren't speaking out about it because their team is winning. And we just haven't seen that happen very often in this town. Now, Washington is one of these teams that I think is at the end of the year, they're going to look back and say it's one of the worst organizations and worst teams in football in 2020. They had to win last week against a Philadelphia team that almost had you and me playing the offensive line. <laughs> so I, I think that, that you're right in saying that these are two games that this organization should get. And if, if they only get one of them, it's going to be a big disappointment. Yeah. 